A major ana fermion, also referred to as a major ana particle, is a fermion that is its own antiparticle. They were hypothesized by Ettore Majorana in 1937. The term is sometimes used in opposition to a Dirac fermion, which describes fermions that are not their own antiparticles. All of the standard model fermions except the neutrino behave as Dirac fermions at low energy. But the nature of the neutrino is not settled and it may be either Dirac or Majorana. In condensed matter physics, Majorana fermions exist as quasi-particle excitations in superconductors and can be used to form Majorana-bound states governed by non-abelian statistics theory. The concept goes back to Majorana's suggestion in 1937 that neutral spin one-half particles can be described by a real wave equation, and would therefore be identical to their antiparticle. The difference between Majorana fermions and Dirac fermions can be expressed mathematically in terms of the creation and annihilation operators of second quantization. The creation operator creates a fermion in quantum state, whereas the annihilation operator annihilates it. For a Dirac fermion the operators are distinct, whereas for a Majorana fermion they are identical. The ordinary fermionic annihilation and creation operators and can be written in terms of two Majorana operators and by in supersymmetry models. Neutrally knows superpartners of gauge bosons and Higgs bosons are Majorana. Elementary particle. Because particles and antiparticles have opposite conserved charges, in order to be a Majorana fermion, namely, it is its own antiparticle, it is necessarily uncharged. All of the elementary fermions of the standard model have gauge charges, so they cannot have fundamental Majorana masses. However, the right-handed sterile neutrinos introduced to explain neutrino oscillation could have Majorana masses. If they do, then at low energy, by the seesaw mechanism, the neutrino fields would naturally behave as six Majorana fields, with three expected to have very high masses and the other three expected to have very low masses. If right-handed neutrinos exist but do not have a Majorana mass, the neutrinos would instead behave as three Dirac fermions and their antiparticles with masses coming directly from the Higgs interaction, like the other standard model fermions. The seesaw mechanism is appealing because it would naturally explain why the observed neutrino masses are so small. However, if the neutrinos are Majorana then they violate the conservation of lepton number and even B minus L, neutrinoless double beta decay, which can be viewed as two beta decay events with the produced anti-neutrinos immediately annihilating with one another, is only possible if neutrinos are their own antiparticles. Experiments are underway to search for this type of decay. The high-energy analog of the neutrinoless double beta decay process is the production of same sign charged leptin pairs at hadron colliders. It is being searched for by both the ATLAS and CMS experiments of the Large Hadron Collider. In theories based on left-right symmetry, there is a deep connection between these processes. In the most accepted explanation of the smallness of neutrino mass, the seesaw mechanism, the neutrino is naturally a Majorana fermion. Majorana fermions cannot possess intrinsic electric or magnetic moments, only toroidal moments. Such minimal interaction with electromagnetic fields makes them potential candidates for cold dark matter. Majorana-bound states In superconducting materials, Majorana fermions can emerge as quasi-particles. This becomes possible because a quasi-particle in a superconductor is its own antiparticle. Majorana fermions in superconductors were observed by many experiments many years ago. Mathematically, the superconductor imposes electron hole symmetry on the quasi-particle excitations, relating the creation operator at energy to the annihilation operator at energy. Majorana fermions can be bound to a defect at zero energy, and then the combined objects are called Majorana-bound states or Majorana zero modes. 
This name is more appropriate than Major Anna Fermion, because the statistics of these objects is no longer fermionic. Instead, the Major Anna bound states are an example of non abelian anyone's. Interchanging them changes the state of the system in a way that depends only on the order in which the exchange was performed. The non-abelian statistics that major unabound states possess allows them to be used as a building block for a topological quantum computer. A quantum vortex in certain superconductors or superfluors can trap midship states, so this is one source of major unabound states. Shockley states that the endpoints of superconducting wires or line defects are an alternative, purely electrical, source. An altogether different source uses the fractional quantum Hall effect as a substitute for the superconductor. Experiments in superconductivity in 2008 Fu and Kane provided a groundbreaking development by theoretically predicting that major unabound states can appear at the interface between topological insulators and superconductors. Many proposals of a similar spirit soon followed, where it was shown that major unabound states can appear even without any topological insulator. An intense search to provide experimental evidence of major unabound states in superconductors first produced some positive results in 2012. A team from the Kavli Institute of Nanoscience at Delft University of Technology in the Netherlands reported an experiment involving indium antimonide nanowires connected to a circuit with a gold contact at one end and a slice of superconductor at the other. When exposed to a moderately strong magnetic field the apparatus showed a peak electrical conductance at zero voltage that is consistent with the formation of a pair of major unabound states, one at either end of the region of the nanowire in contact with the superconductor. This type of bounded state with zero energy was soon detected by several other groups in similar hybrid devices. This experiment from Delft marks a possible verification of independent 2010 theoretical proposals from two groups predicting the solid state manifestation of major unabound states in semiconducting wires. However, it was also pointed out that some other trivial non-topological bounded states could highly mimic the zero-voltage conductance peak of major unabound state. It was suggested that major unabound states appeared at the edges of a chain of ion atoms formed on the surface of superconducting lead. Physicist Jason Alicia of California Institute of Technology, not involved in the research, said the study offered compelling evidence for major anafermions but that we should keep in mind possible alternative explanations, even if there are no immediately obvious candidates.